Good morning everyone, it's Kelly here. We're outside with the chickens. I'm actually gonna let them out for a little bit just so they can graze the yard. Excuse me chickens, excuse me. I'm gonna go collect the eggs from my omelet chicken coop I have in here. But I'm making this video because we have a little bit of a problem. Um, there has been a predator lurking around our house and our neighbor, Mr. Jeans, which he lives right down the street. Can I hold four eggs with one hand without dropping them? Um, so, Mr. Jeans' house, it's down the block. Every time we turn into our neighborhood, um, myself and Blue Gabe always kind of gawk over his house and land because he has a bunch of birds. Um, really cool animals. And finally, Gabe went over there the other day and introduced himself. Turns out, Mr. Jean, his wife, are amazing fantastic people super super nice they let us into their home and allow us to check out all their turkeys and their quail and all of their chickens however they do have a predator problem because the quail unfortunately have not been laying as many eggs as they normally do and normally if that happens there's a predator disturbing them at night so we're gonna get to the bottom of this we went ahead and set up a couple trail cameras at his property we're gonna find out what's been bothering those quail. Just gonna put our little eggs here. I got this cool little egg thing off Amazon actually. It's pretty neat. Um, you know, first in FIFO, first in, first out. So I cook the eggs in the bottom first and put the new ones on top. It's just like a swivel system all the way down. So not only is Mr. Gene having a predator problem, but I have seen raccoons around our backyard and ever since I got chickens I did buy a couple traps just in case I did need to use them. Luckily we haven't had any issues, you know, no nothing trying to get in the coop or anything. Well, ironically, this morning I walked out on the back patio and this is what we saw. Yeah. Something got into the chicken feed bag. Something opened my bird seed container. And look at this. In Luke's hermit crab cage, I believe that's a little raccoon paw. Luckily, somehow he did not eat the hermit crabs out of their shells. And it's kind of it's kind of funny because I just brought my hedgehog out here um, just because it hasn't been cold anymore and just to kind of get her some fresh air. Thank God this raccoon or whatever it was did not get my hedgehog because I would have been really upset. Um, fortunately, my hedgehog can hide under this little ledge right here, but my hedgehog is nocturnal, just kind of like raccoons, so I'm like, she could have been out, like, running around at night, and the raccoon got her. I was like, oh my gosh, I opened her little cage this morning, like, hoping to see her in there, and she was in there, so thank God she's okay. Um, I did check my chickens as well, and obviously they're okay too. Uh, luckily, I have this thing pretty packed down tight and predator-proof. So I won't run in, oh, I hopefully won't run into the problem of anything getting my little, my little poop heads over here. <laughs> so I'm going to run to Publix and get some canned dog food or cat food to zip tie into some traps to trap this predator that has been terrorizing Mr. Jean's quail. I'm also going to set a trap on our back porch or maybe right out that area because there's a hole in our screen right there and see if we can't catch the culprit. All right, you guys, well, I'm here at Mr. Gene's house and he is showing me all of his cool stuff on what he used to do back in the younger days. Check out this homemade spear gun he made. That is incredible. Think it still works? Oh yeah, <laughs> just gotta put the rubbers on. Nobody could cock it. But you? The rubbers were as big around as my thumb and they were only come to here. Oh, and yeah. Most guys couldn't pull it down. They're trying to pull it with two hands and you don't. And I would put three rubbers on there. You're insane. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> and they call wishbones. We'd hook into here. My buddy actually designed the thing and then I made it. Wow. <laughs> you guys, he has everything at this house. Look at these little finches over here. Hello, little birds. These here would have the rubbers on them. Okay. And they'd pull them down. Oh, so it would help you pull down the band. They would bands. hook here. And then this would be 
the last one you hook on. Oh, I see. If you and want. you'd hook the band right here? No, the bands go through these circles. Oh. Go through the rings. Wow. How cool is that? That's probably my favorite thing here now, besides the turkeys. <laughs> and look over here, you guys. I've never seen a baby quail. And look how tiny they are. You ready? Look how cute. We might have to buy one off Mr. Gene right here. Look at these. You got something to put in there and give you some. <laughs> They're only three days old. Three days old baby quail. If we bring Luke over here, our six-year-old. Oh yeah, he loves them. Oh, he mm, he would actually put one in his pocket without us knowing and bring it home, guaranteed. These are about two months old. These are two-month-old quail. Too cute. We're in the backyard right now, and I'm gonna show you guys his beautiful chicken coop and quail pen. This is where the quail are. As you can see, they're all right here. Look how cute they are. He's even got some white ones in there too. And like I said earlier, the quail haven't been laying as many eggs because something's been bothering them. Now let me show you guys what that trail cam captured last night. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So we, the turkey just gobbled at me. So we obviously have a raccoon problem here and back at our house, which is right down the road. But right now we're gonna go ahead and set up the traps. I bought some dog food from Publix. And we're going to zip tie this dog food in this trap as far back as we can on the ground. That way the raccoons can't get their fingers in there and move it around. leave that on there but I just kind of leave it put it open and then this little thing goes right in here okay and then that kind of holds it up and then I just kind of gently take that off then when he like steps that. on it that, yeah. that moves I got you. And it's trapped All right, I'm, I'm gonna do it this way Oh, okay. You grab it. I'm turn it to you. Alright. Grab those two things. Right. You got the one? There we go. Wait. Ooh. Wait, just hold it right there. I can do it like this. sweat like a racehorse. <laughs> That's one problem I don't have is I'm not a sweater. I can run miles and I'll like sweat a little bit but if I can stand out of water and the flowers and, and it's six <laughs> o'clock in the morning I'll the water be dripping off. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well y'all just seen how we did that. I didn't realize that the back of this trap didn't open. I've never used these traps before. I did I bought them when I bought my chickens. We wanted to zip tie it on the on the floor, but we couldn't exactly get our arms in there to do that. So this is the best we can do. We zip tied it right here. And the reason we're zip tying it is because raccoons use their little paws. They love to get in there and they'll move it all around. And if they can move it around, they might not have to go into the trap. So if it's zip tied here, they're not gonna be able to get to it on the outside. So they're gonna have to walk around and find a way into the trap. We need to cut the top of that can a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll put another hole in it so they can smell it. But so this is what we're working with right here. We're gonna set it up in front of the trail camera and see what we can't get. You got it. Just a couple little holes.
I think that's good just like that. It's the following morning and unfortunately we did not get any of the raccoons in either trap. The big raccoon that was at Mr. Jean's house did investigate the trap. However, I don't think we really hit it enough. He did pull it around a little bit, but unfortunately did not go into the trap. Now at our house, this is what happened. Day two, the damage. Raccoon got into the chicken feed. I had to put it in a bucket because it ripped open the bag uh, yesterday morning. And the raccoon did get the bird seed again, which was up here on the counter. I did move the trap from over there back to over here, just because it likes to come here, obviously, because all the seed. Trap's not there. Somehow it's over there. I mean, I don't think Gabe's mom would have moved it over here. I think the raccoon drug it over here and all of the dog food is gone and the door is shut. So I'm going to have to set this trap again redneck is trying to catch a squirrel and hopefully we will have better luck tonight. I just walked out to my chicken coop and look what we have here. Definitely a raccoon trying to crawl under there. Yeah, that's not good. All right, so here's the game plan now. I cleared out all the bird feed, put it inside. I put a cylinder block on the cage. That way, hopefully he can't move it. Inside the cage, I put, I popped some holes in a can of tuna and I went ahead and slabbed a big old hunk of peanut butter on there. So hopefully he will like that. And yeah, I have a Simply Safe camera right here for a close up shot. Hopefully he comes in frame. And I set up a trail camera right there. So hopefully we'll get him this time, Redneck. so it is the morning of day three and according to our trail cameras last night it looks like the raccoon went into the trap unfortunately the way the cameras work it records like eight seconds it pauses wait and waits for motion and then it records again so it... is he in there he's in there he's in there all right so it looks like the raccoon as you guys saw in the footage, kind of crept around the cage a little bit and then it stopped recording and then the cage was shut when it started recording and I saw some movement in the trap. So it looks like we have one out of two raccoons caught. There he is, all bundled up. All right, Mr. Raccoon, there he is. He's all curled up, probably taking a nap. He probably had a little bit of a stressful night considering he's trapped in a cage. But as for these quail, they will no longer have stressful nights. Now, Mr. Jane is gonna come back from Okeechobee today and take care of this guy while I work on trying to trap my raccoon. Hey, buddy. Hi, good morning. Yeah, we caught ya. No more harassing the quail. Unfortunately, no raccoon number two. However, I'm going to add a little bit of a raccoon special. We got some bread, peanut butter topped with Captain Crunch. And 
we're gonna try to throw this in the trap without making too much of a mess. Boom! Perfect landing with a side of canned tuna. All right, we'll see you all tonight. So I'm not gonna lie, it's about a week and a half, two weeks later, I have not caught our raccoon. Um, he stopped coming on the back porch, so Gabe had a brilliant idea of putting the trap inside of a trash can. Well, I did that, three days go by, no raccoon. We just got back from West Palm, Gabe went to go throw something in the trash, and look who we caught. Hi, little baby. Yeah, you just got caught. So this works out perfectly because I just got a baby turkey as you saw in my last video. Um, so that makes me a lot happier in that there's one less predator lurking around my birds. I must have went in there last night. Yeah. Redneck. Redneck, do you see what's in there? Redneck doesn't even know. Redneck, look. Not interested. All right, well, I'm not sure how this works. Please don't get me. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. But I <clears throat> get back before you get bit. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to a preserve. Um, or some piece of public land that is over or 40 acres or over to release this guy because I don't have the heart to kill them. Um, a lot of people who have like chickens and farm animals, they like to just put them out of their misery really quick and bury them in the yard, but I can't do it. So I'm gonna go let this guy live somewhere else. All right, you guys, so this video is coming to an end. We successfully trapped our raccoon. Um, we're pulled over here in these woods and we're gonna go ahead and let this raccoon go. Now we're a little dolled up, well I am at least, Gabe's wearing his normal attire, um, cause we're going to Robert's, which is Gabe's brother, AKA Dear Me for Dinner's house to do like a little going away party cause he's planning this whole trip like cross country to Alaska. So. We're going there right now, but you guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Kelly Young. Say hi to Luke and Jake in the back. Oh. Blue Gabe's right there. Subscribe to his channel as well, and we will see you guys next time. See ya. Oh, look at those apple shells. Okay. Are you gonna let it go? Film? I'm filming. Let's see if you can come back and get us. All right. He stormed off that way. It's so windy out here. Edit that screen now. Oh no, the screen's staying in.